Let's start to find our seats. Wow, you guys are really excited. Everyone found their seats and got really quiet. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to get started in just another minute. I see some people still finding their seats, and we have a couple graduates wandering in. Well, good afternoon, and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Fox School of Business. Family, friends, and honored guests, please rise as members of the school's faculty and administrators join me on stage. Please be seated. Hello and welcome again to those attendants and those who are joining us on the live stream. My name is Heather Procasino and I'm the Executive Director of Development for the Fox School of Business and your MC today. I am delighted to join members of the administration as we assist the Dean, Ron Anderson, in presiding over today's ceremony. But before we get started, I would like to take a moment to pause and give our graduates a chance to reflect and process what they have done to reach today. You have believed in yourselves and invested in yourselves. You've demonstrated grit, determination, perseverance, and you've sacrificed a lot. These are not empty words or phrases. This is what the essence of what it means to be temple made and temple proud. You leave here today prepared to ask informed questions, to think creatively, to be curious, and to challenge yourself every day. This graduation ceremony celebrates the accomplishments of our academic community. Today, we're here to celebrate you. The graduates sitting before us, surrounded by family and friends, represent a proud tradition of excellence and achievement that Temple students, faculty, administrators, loyal alum, and friends have cultivated for more than 100 years. You are a group of successful business leaders, a group of entrepreneurs and innovators. You are the best of what the Fox School of Business has to offer in the world and the community. So let's get started. To officially begin our celebration, joy, please join me in a warm welcome as we welcome the Dean of the Fox School of Business, Dr. Ron Anderson. Thank you, Heather, and congratulations, graduates. I want to emphasize congratulations one more time. I think that's especially important with this group over the last few years that you've endured. So again, congratulations. <laughs> this is a tremendously special day. This is your day. It's the day that you graduate and begin the next phase of your life. Today, you become Temple Made, and I am so happy to be able to share this moment with you. Earning a degree in 2022 is not an easy feat, but because you persevered, you have an extra advantage. You are prepared for the ever-changing business world. You have overcome challenges many graduates face, 
and new challenges that no one previously imagined. And you have done it amid extraordinary circumstances. You have shown your agility and you will be more than ready to adjust and combat any challenges your chosen industry throws your way. You'll use the skills you have learned to take the next step in your career. For some of you, the next step is clear. For others, it might feel like you're taking a leap of faith without knowing where you're heading. But trust me, you're ready. You have worked hard. You have asked the right questions. You have learned the hard lessons. You may have stumbled along the way, but you have picked yourself up. No matter what happens next, you will know that you are ready. Whether you have a clear path forward or are unsure of what comes next, trust in yourself. Know that your values will guide you along. At the Fox School, we know who we are. We are students who become innovative leaders. We are researchers who make an impact. We are a community focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion. We care about our neighbors near and far. Together, we are united in our goals and clear in our vision. We have moved forward with grit and determination despite all obstacles. The last few semesters have been challenging, but I believe the lessons you have learned will pay dividends. You can tell I'm a finance professor, right? <laughs> you know your values. You have the skills you need to succeed. You know how to innovate, adapt, and roll with the punches. I know that your experiences at Fox will prove immensely valuable, regardless of where your career and your life take you. One such person who, so, who shows such perseverance Part of our DNA here is your classmate and fellow graduate, Monique Frazier. Monique, can you give us a shout out? So I'm going to tell you a little story here. Monique is t Temple made twice over, having previously earned her bachelor's degree in MIS and graduating today with her MBA. Monique's journey, like many of yours, has not been easy. She started her MBA at a different institution while working two full-time jobs. When that grew to be untenable, she took a break. She took time to think about what was important to her and her reflection led her to return to Temple. Monique started her time at Fox with great success. Her coursework was mentally stimulating and the people around her, including you, her classmates, and our incredible faculty and staff were helpful, sincere, sincere, and caring. She developed confidence in herself and what she could accomplish. She found a community of support that helped her soar. But then Monique found herself facing some health challenges. She couldn't stand or sit for extended periods without pain, and she struggled to focus. She had emergency back surgery. Her recovery was long and challenging. She felt like the obstacles in front of her were insurmountable. Yet, Monique's sitting here today, graduating today, because of her drive and commitment to succeed and because of the Fox community who encouraged and supported her, the professors, staff, and classmates, we came together to encourage her success. And despite the obstacles in her way, she achieved what she set out to do. Congratulations, Monique, on this incredible accomplishment. Monique's story embodies the spirit of the Fox School. You're here today because you have a dream and worked hard to accomplish it. You build a network of people who care about your achievements. I know that many of you have success stories like Monique's. The drive and perseverance you have shown are one of the many reasons I am so optimistic about you and your future. You've all been able to earn a degree during a global pandemic. Trust me when I say that anything that comes next should be smooth sailing in comparison. <laughs> Before I say goodbye and wish you luck in your next chapter, I want you to know that Temple and Fox will always be here for you, wherever your story takes you. Whether you stay in Philadelphia, move across the country, or the globe, you will continue to evolve, learn, and grow. And you won't be alone. You are joining a large and connected community of 360,000 Temple Owl alums, including more than 69,000 alums from Fox. 
Owls are everywhere. And now you are one of those proud owls. We have been your partner, and now we are your proud colleagues. Once more, I say congratulations. You are officially Temple Made. I'm now going to turn things back over to Heather to continue today's ceremony. Thank you, Dean Anderson. It is my pleasure now to turn our attention to one of your fellow graduates. Sarah Glover is earning her master's in business administration today, so please join me in a warm welcome as Sarah comes up and gives her commencement address. Good day, and congratulations to all the Temple University Fox School of Business Summer 2022 graduates. We did it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Most of us started our academic journey about two years ago at the dawn of a new decade with aspirations and hopes for a promising future. Yet we were soon met with systemic level pandemic challenges and despair that really did permeate over the course of 2020. We persevered, we studied, and in some cases, we even struggled to create and juggle a work-life balance. But we made it through the COVID-19 pandemic so far. We expanded our thinking at a time of social and political upheaval in our country. We've also trained to be business leaders at a time when the country was thrust into a racial reckoning as a result of the murder of George Floyd. Many of us have experienced professional achievements and setbacks, but we all have remained committed to bettering ourselves, bettering our communities, and advancing our leadership skills by pursuing a degree at Fox School of Business. We are Temple Owls. We are the future leaders. So we must lead with a sense of empathy, propensity for excellence, and a sense of urgency for both. Our respective industries and sectors cannot wait for anything less. The skills and the people we have become are sorely needed. Just as Martin Luther King Jr. said, and he wrote in the letter, Why We Cannot Wait, from a Birmingham jail sale in 1963, at a time when local leaders criticized his nonviolent campaign for civil rights, he said, we too must be prepared and armed with the courage to do what is right. And we know we are well prepared as Fox School business graduates to mine the challenges, seek the proper solutions, and change the world. We have our families, Fox professors, staff, and Dean Anderson to thank for readying us. We must also thank ourselves and pat each other on the back because we toiled and labored together in group work and sacrifice sleep uh, for working on projects overnight, we put in the real work to get to this moment. And you know that you can't have a testimony without a test. Each of us has a story to tell, and it's all about our journey, and that testimony is for us to share. And I encourage you, as you put your business skills into practice, that you also think about how you will tell your stories of perseverance and accomplishment and encourage your colleagues in your workplaces to tell their stories too. MLK said, quote, find a, a voice in a whisper, end quote. So I encourage you to find the voices among the whispers on the teams that you will lead and work on. Sometimes all that's needed is simply sharing encouragement with someone sitting right next to you. And also find your own voice, stand in your own truth because it's important to celebrate all the wins. And on this day, collective, we, collectively, we're all winning. We made it to the finish line and we've crossed it. So we each may take a bow, share a celebratory toast with our loved ones, but I also impress upon you that the time is now, that we move forward from this momentous occasion with a sense of urgency to demonstrate excellence in all that we do because practicing empathy and courage to go against the grain, like MLK, is needed and it's part of our preparation. And as business leaders, we can set an example for taking care of our communities. We cannot wait to do and be all that we've prepared for in this moment. We are temple made, we are temple owls. And thus, I leave you with a fun fact that's applicable about an owl. 
Owls are known to have beautiful, strong, and contouring feathers, which enable owls to fly silently. Like a soaring owl, it is said that silent leaders are known to set an example for what others might follow. It is also said that silent leaders often hold themselves to a higher standard than they may hold for others. So bravo, fellow owls, for gliding across the stage today. You've invested in yourself, you've nested in the temple community, and now it's time to fly from the nest in higher than you've ever soared before. So congratulations, stay encouraged, and inspire excellence in all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing your story and for encouraging your graduates to share theirs. It is my pleasure to officially welcome Sarah and all of your fellow graduates into the Temple University and the Fox School of Business Alumni Associations. You are joining a network of over 360,000 alumnus, as Dr. as Dr. Anderson mentioned, and over 69,000 Temple alum. I encourage you to tap into that network, to stay connected, to use us, your school, as a resource for lifelong learning, to stay connected to each other. You are Temple made and you are Temple strong. So on behalf of the presidents of the University Temple Alumni Association and the Fox School of Business Al Alumni Association, I welcome you into a lifelong membership. As an academic institution, the true measure of our success is what you all become. And now as you leave our classrooms and our seminar halls for Main Street or Wall Street, we share in the excitement as a first steps to your next part of your journey. But please remember it's been said here before, Fox is your home, as it will be for the classes that follow and for the thousands of alum who have preceded you, and hopefully your paths will cross over the years. Now we come to the fun and important part we're going to confer our degrees. It is with pride and anticipation that the Fox community and your family and friends watch as each of you are recognized. I have a little housekeeping reminder for the graduates. I want to tell you that we have hired a professional photographer who will take your picture as you cross the stage with one of your deans. And then at the end of the steps, you'll have the opportunity to take another what we call a freestyle photograph to commemorate your day. We're going to start with conferring of the degrees by announcing the Doctor of Philosophy and the Executive Doctorate of Business Administration. This will be followed by the announcing of the recipients for the Executive Master in Administration, the Master of Business Administration, the Master of Accountancy, the Master in Management, and the Master of Science degrees. This is a celebratory event, and I would like all of you to make sure you are loud and proud as every one of these graduates cross the stage. They have really worked hard for this. So please join me and welcome to the podium Dr. Sunil Waddle, Associate Dean of Research and Doctoral Programs as he confers the degrees. Dr. Waddle. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to announce the graduates of the Fox School PhD programs. Um, first, uh, I announce the P uh, PhD, the graduates in the PhD Business Administration program. For each of these graduates, uh, I'll also invite their advisor to come over and hold them on, on the stage. Our first uh, PhD uh, Business Administration graduate is Samhita Guha and she'll be uh, hooded by her advisor, Sub Professor Subodha Kumar. <laughs> Samayita's dissertation was on open challenges in digital platforms, impact of operational strategies on business performance, and she'll be joining as an assistant professor in Florida International University. Our next uh, graduate is Dan Lo, and I'll also call her advisor, Professor Oleg Richka, to on the stage. Uh, 
Dan's dissertation title was Essays on Optimal Portfolio Strategies, and she'll be joining as a visiting assistant professor of finance at Tulane University. Our next PhD graduate is Stephen Max, and uh, he, to, to hood him on stage, I'll call his co-advisors, Professor Jagan Krishnan and Professor Jayanti Krishnan. <laughs> Stephen's dissertation uh, was titled Modern Privacy Regulation, Internal Information Quality and Operation, Operating Efficiency, Evidence from the General Data Protection Regula Regulation, and he'll be joining as an assistant professor at George Mason University. <clears throat> Our next PhD uh, graduate is Ji Wu, and she'll be hooded by her advisor, Professor Min Sok Pang. Ji's uh, dissertation was titled Three Essays on Digital Transformation, Challenges in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And she'll be joining as a junior researcher in SDA Bocconi School of Management in Milan, Italy. Our next PhD graduate is Jiang Zhang, and he'll be hooded by his advisor, Professor Martin Grace. <laughs> Jiang's uh, dissertation was titled Essays on Textual Analysis for in Insurance uh, Disclosures, and he'll be joining uh, as assistant professor at Lemoyne College. Our next uh, PhD graduate is Letting Zhang. Uh, so I was her advisor, so I'll be holding her on stage here. Her, her dissertation was titled Three Essays on Economics of Information Security, and she'll be joining as assistant professor at the University of Delaware. So next, uh, we have the graduates in the PhD uh, program in statistics. Our first graduate is Chen Chen, and he'll be hooded by his advisor, Professor Yu Xiao Dong. Okay. Chen's dissertation was titled, A Concave Pairwise Fusion Approach to Clustering of Multi-Response Regression and Its Robust Extension. And she's joining as a biostatistician in Verily. <laughs> Our next PhD uh, in statistics graduate is Zhang Kang Liang, and he'll be hooded by his advisor, Professor Zhigen Zhao. His dissertation was titled on the Bayesian Mul Multiple Index Models, and he'll be joining as a senior biostatistician in Daiji Sankyo Incorporated. Our last graduate in the PhD program is Zian Yin, and he'll be hooded by his advisor, Professor Cheng Yong Tang. His dissertation was titled Communication Efficient Distributed Inference, Distributions, Approximation, and Improvement. 
and he'll be joining as a data scientist in J.P. Morgan Chase. So next, it's my pleasure to announce the graduates of the Fox School Master's programs. So Sarah Glower. <laughs> Danielle Harlop. <laughs> Monique Fraser. <laughs> Onye Ricketts. Lauren Christina Costello. Shubham Patil. Olena Krashovska. Basam Rami Achek. Tracy Chinello Okpala. <laughs> Philip Congialdi. <laughs> Christopher Yoon. <laughs> Rujata Rajendra Tendel. <laughs> Alexander Knoll. Charles Corral Jr. Coretta McGee. Santina D. Geralamo. Meredith Mary Orme. Kyren Elizabeth Bittner. Divya Tadavarthi. Yeah. Daniel Nechon Ra. Yeah. Andrew Late. Yeah. Ashley Williams. Kristen Ann Morosky. Anthony Wong. Kiande Dajon Johnson. Christian Schill. Allison Conley. Hung Vu, Daniel Palmer, Juan Lee, Lee Hong Ren. Alejandro Grenados Gomez. Yay. Maria Paulo Gomez Ramirez. Yay. Vivek Singh. Nicholas de Jesus Sierra Munoz. Rosa Alhure. Sonia Cristina Gutierrez Tirado. Yay. 
Kenny Vanessa Moreno. Lucia Palomac Arce. Edgar Suarez Lopez. Juan Mauricio Sidel. <laughs> Thomas Gray. Catherine Birals. Emily Short. Greg Matthew Borgia. Christopher George Zacalis. Harry Francis Curon. Alicia Konecki. Married Eileen Mackin. Victoria Anne Maria Campbell. Mary Eileen Kent. Ashley Page Carespody. Jessica Pernick. Ryan Joseph Hanlon. Christian Manuchak. Zane Ansari. MD Udin. Liberty Ellen. Morgan Le Lepre. Oscar Guillermo Armas. Tammy Jalbok. Nicolette Mayo. <laughs> Louis John Rossetti. <laughs> Ryan Horney. <laughs> Mike Redican. Devon Sloan. <laughs> Jung Ming Cha. <laughs> Ji Chen. <laughs> Severa O'Farrow. Sal Aydenzon. Raj Kumar Paresh Kumar Patel. Megan Maureen Hampshire.
Ayanna Woods. Jaden Le Malloy. James Robert Vogelsong. Antonio Fatizo. Annie Thomas. Kanchan Kumar. Hang Nu Song Nguyen. Bernard Avuso Antwi. And Elizabeth Perez. So congrats to all our graduates. I Graduates, there is one final official act that has to be completed in order for you to be official Fox alumni. Please remove your tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap. On behalf of the entire university, we wish you all the best as you pursue your professional and personal journey of discovery and success. I want you to know how tremendously we are proud of you. You are Temple made. You are Fox made. This is your day. Go make it your world. Congratulations. At this time, we ask our audience members to take a seat. You can still cheer, but if you can take a seat until our faculty and administration uh, process off the stage. Again, congratulations to everyone and go Owls!